it. Now we're going to talk about adapted cross-talk cancellation. My name is Marco Simon and I come from Stream 4, University of Southampton, working with Filippo Fazzi and also with Andreas that just gave us his talk. So we're going to start about why do we work with adapted cross-talk can cross cancellation. This is the main motivation. You've also seen this slide before, and that's the main idea that we wanted to do in S3A. And we started the program saying, okay, spatial audio exists, but however, people don't consume it at homes. And they don't consume it at homes because the solutions that exist, they are not very practical, okay? And we live in a world where consumers want practical solutions in order to do their everyday activities, like for example, watching a movie or listening to special music. So we went and we used the concept of cross-talk cancellation. That was something that it wasn't new, okay? But it's a very effective way of delivering binaural audio. If you know binaural audio, it's a reproduction method in which you capture a, a recording with two channels and that if then you reproduce it with headphones, it gives you the impression of being there. We talked yesterday during the during the lecture with the virtual hairdresser. If you want to know what binaural audio is, please go into YouTube and listen for the virtual hairdresser. So while this is very impressive, you need to wear headphones. And we said, can you get away from headphones? Can you deliver the same impression by, by just using loudspeakers? And that's where the concept of crustal cancellation gets introduced. Crustal cancellation uses constructive and destructive interferences, creates virtual headphones, and delivers a very impressive 3D experience. However, crustal cancellation has a drawback, okay? And is that because you are controlling sound in space, it has a very determined sweet spot, okay? So if we imagine a listener which is in the center of a crustal cancellation setup, when this listener is centered in what we call the sweet spot, the experience is very good and you are able to get 3D images all around you. So if you see on this graph, blue means very low channel separation and purple means very high channel separation. If you are on the center, you have lots of channel separation. That is very good, very good 3D image. However, these setups have been developed since the 1960s, okay? And they are very nice, but if we go back to our living room in where we have a practical situation, we don't always sit in the same position in our sofa. What happens is that when you move from this sweet spot, the channel separation is not good and you are not going to get a 3D image. And this is what we worked in S3A. We work in developing techniques that allow us for a listener adaptive crustal cancellation. That means that in real time, we can vary the sound field that our crystal cancellation system is producing so that it doesn't matter where the listeners are because one day they will they will sit in one position, other day they will sit in another position, okay? And in S3A, we develop some technology that has allowed us to really get a very low signal processing profile required for doing this adaptive crystal cancellation. And this has made possible that by using systems like the visor that Andrea has presented, we can implement all this technology in very low processors like the ones that go on a mobile phone, for example. And what we have done is in order to make this possible and that it can be used for consumers, we have combined 3D sound, we have combined loudspeaker array technologies, soundbars that you saw yesterday, and computer vision. Computer vision that automatically produces head trackings Head tracking tells us where the listeners are and inform a system like a soundbar where they should provide this sound field control to deliver crustal cancellation and a binaural signal. And one of the outputs that have the problem has had, as Filippo said, is the creation of a startup, AudioCynic, where we have taken these technologies, we want to take them forward, we want to license and work with uh, audio manufacturers so that this technology becomes a reality and people can enjoy 3D audio on their living rooms, on their houses. And that's the end of my presentation. With crustal cancellation, we can deliver same realism as with high channel cancer on setups. And by delivering listener adaptive technologies, we can use that in practical environments. If you want to know more, please visit the webpage of AudioCynic. Thank you very much.